Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I'm coming at y'all with a brand new video on these Air Jordan White Cement 4s. So let's get it poppin'. Shit. Before we even begin, I wanted to mention that this video right here is not going to be a detailed review. There are a ton on YouTube already, so I'm just going to be giving you guys my overall thoughts and opinion on this pair right here. So let's get it popping. So this pair will be dropping February 13th, 2016 for $220 retail. Out the door with tax is going to be probably around $240-ish. A little pricey, but definitely worth it in my opinion. If you guys want to secure a pair for yourselves, I will have a link down below in the description description where you can purchase it jeromekicks.com use the code SINTB to get you guys $10 off of your order all right for show so let's take a closer look at this model right here the Air Jordan 4 definitely a classic model returning again with a very classic colorway the first release was in 1989 and this particular pair is supposed to be as close to that as possible. They did go with the fat speckles on this one and they just speckled everything. Like it just looks like somebody was sneezing on a paintbrush like this far away and just like <sighs> and then boom speckles up on it. Honestly though I really do like this man. I feel like the extra speckles really brings the shoe together. It gives it that unique look. The gray is not like that dark gray that came on the 2012 pair. And also, just a little history lesson, the first pair released in 1989, the second pair released in 1999, and then the third was 2012, so this one is the fourth in 2016. The only retro with the Jumpman on the back was the 2012 pair. Let's talk about the leather real quick. Now a lot of people were like hyping this up, they were like, oh man, it's like super, super good quality. And I mean, it's not terrible quality, but I'm gonna keep it 100 because that's what I do. This leather is not the greatest leather, but it's not the worst leather. It has a median, it's semi soft, a little bit stiff, but not white infrared six kind of cardboard stiff. I'll try to give you guys a detailed shot at the leather on the toe box. I did wear these just to see if they would crease up on them. In all honesty, when they crease up, they kind of look like the back of like an old person's hand. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like super wrinkly and it doesn't crease in like two folds like that. It just like spiders out. <sighs> okay, you're being a little weird, bro. That's like the best I could do. It's just spiders out. That's all I could say. I don't know how to explain it. The uppers are super vibrant with this cocaine white. It's the type of white that just pops. I have a 99 pair myself and the uppers are kind of eggshell now. So seeing it like bright white like this, is a lot different than what I'm used to seeing. So I like it. A lot of people like the fresh Coke white look, but I also appreciate the eggshell. It just depends on the sneaker. But either way, I think that this looks dope. All white cocaine, or if you want to take it back to 99 and 89 with the kind of eggshell look, that's always a good look as well. The insoles feature Nike Air in red, and this Nike is also seen on the bottom of this sneaker. I don't really understand why they did this, but they did include the Air Jordan uh, Jumpman hang tag. Now back in the day, it used to say Nike Air with the Nike swoosh. So I don't know why they did this one. They could have done the other one. That's just me being picky though. But I'm just letting you guys know that it comes with this little hang tag instead of the Nike Air one. And speaking of Nike Air, let's look at the back of these things, man, because that's what this shoe is right here. This is. This is what I like to see. I'm glad that they're bringing a lot of these shoes back, like the Maroon 6s, these. Hopefully they'll bring back a lot more with the Nike Air on the back. To me, it's a classic look. Like, you can never go wrong with the Nike Air. Overall, I'm gonna give this shoe a nine out of 10 based on the quality of the leather. Like I said, it is not great, but it's not terrible. So that's why I'm giving it a nine. Looks wise, they look 10 out of 10. You cannot go wrong with this pair right here because you can pretty much wear this with anything. The shoe is super neutral when it comes to colors. So that's what I like about it, man. While we're on the subject, I know somebody's gonna ask me about the giveaway. The giveaway is still on and if you guys haven't entered already, Please go ahead and check out the video right here if you guys want to win a pair for yourselves. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. It does go a long way, and I will catch you guys next time. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace.